Good morning students. Myself is Vanita, your science teacher. I am fine. How are you? I think all of you are enjoying your e-learning classes of various subjects. Are you happy? Okay. All the students will write their experience of e-learning class in your diary. When the school will reopen, I all of you will express your experience in the classroom. Now I am going to explain you lesson 2 of this science book. I am going to explain you lesson 2. Name of the lesson is plan. In class 3, all of you have learned about different parts of the plan. Let's revise it. I am showing you the picture of the plan. Plants are living things just like us. What all of you are observing? In this picture, yeah, you are observing different parts of the plant. Already, we know that plants have different parts like root, stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. We have read it in the previous class. Look at the picture given in the book carefully. It consists of two main parts. The parts of the plants which remain under the ground is called the root. Understanding all of you? Okay. And the part of the plant which remains above the ground is called shoot. The shoot of the plant has stem, branches, leaves, birds and flowers, fruits. All of you know that fruits contain seeds inside them. Understood? Now, here some fill in the blanks are also given. Fill it. All of you take out your notebook and fill it. A. Dash fixes a plant in the soil. Can you answer it? Yes. The answer is root. Now, B. Dash supports a plant and keeps it upright. Do you know what will be the answer? Yes. The answer is here. Steam. C. Leaf had dash in it to prepare food and to give its green color what you have write what you have to write here yeah answer is chlorophyll do you know about the chlorophyll what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is a green substance present in the leaf due to this leaves are green now the last question is fruits have dash in them which germinates to form plants the answer is Seeds. Fruits have seeds in them which germinate to form plants. All of you write it and learn it also. Next. The root. As you know, the root is that part of the plant which remains under the ground. The roots have many tiny thin hair like branches. They fix the plant firmly in the soil. As the plant grows, it becomes Thick, woody, with a corky layer. You can understand it in, a, in this way. Root is an important part of the plant. It supports the plant, means take the weight of the soup. And it also takes water and minerals from the soil. Here the words minerals. Mineral means nutrients which are very important for the growth of the plant. Now, there are mainly two types of roots are there. Types of root. Roots are of two types, tap root and fibrous roots. All of you are seeing this one in the picture. Picture of tap root and fibrous roots are given here. Now, I will explain you about the tap root. What is tap root? Tap root is a single root, long root with Thin roots arising from it. Plants like beans, rose, ladyfinger and trees like neem and people have tap roots. Now you understand this one. I am going to explain. Some plants 
which have only one main root this grows from the end of the stem into the soil many small roots grows from this main root and this main root is called tap root an example of tap root is bean mustard hibiscus rose lady finger can you explain about the example of the tap root yes tap example is lady finger rose trees neem now you have to write the example of tap root now your next topic is fibrous root what are fibrous roots fibrous roots are those in which many roots arise from the base of the stem a fibrous root tends to taper downwards fibrous roots are found in all cereals grasses and banana cereals you can say that rice wheat these all are the example of cereals once again five you have to understand plants like grass sorry plants like grass wheat rice and onion they don't have one main root they have thin and bushy roots growing from the end of the stem as you as i explained earlier that fibrous roots have many thin and bushy roots which grow from the end of the stem these thin and bushy roots together are called fibrous roots i think all of you have understood the topics now i am going to give you some assignments some questions are given here and you have to solve first to read the chapter and then try to solve the answer and now your question is first draw a plant and label the parts of the plant you will draw the plant and carefully and labeling the part it must in this question now your second question is what is root you have to define about the root see what is the function of root you have to write here function of root next question is how many types of roots are there name them you have to write the types of root and name of roots next question define type tap root and fibrous roots we will solve this question and then show me next day thank you have a nice day